When the user taps a button or navigation link, it's pretty clear that SwiftUI should trigger the default action for those views. But what if they press and hold on something? On older iPhones, users could trigger a 3D touch by pressing hard on something. But the principle is the same with modern iPhones. The user wants more options for whatever they're interacting with. SwiftUI lets us attach context menus to objects to provide this extra functionality, all done using the context menu modifier. You can pass this a selection of buttons and they'll be shown in order. So we could build a simple context menu to control a view's background color like this. At state, private var background color equals color.red. vStack, text hello world, dot padding, dot background, background color. Text, change color, dot padding, dot context menu. And inside there I say, as a button with the action of self dot background color equals dot red, text red. Then another button, action, self dot background color equals dot green, text green. Then a third button with the action background color equals dot blue and text blue. Just like tab view, each item in a context menu can have text and an image attached to it. And again, it doesn't matter what order you provide them in or if you try to provide more than one image, it'll always be the text first, then an image. Now there is a catch here. To keep UIs looking somewhat uniform across apps, iOS renders each image as a solid color where the opacity is preserved. This makes many pictures useless. If you have three photos of three different dogs, all three will be rendered as a plain black square because all the color got removed. Instead, you should aim for line art icons such as Apple's SF symbols, like this. Image, system name, checkmark.circle.fill, dot foreground color, dot red. I have a few tips for you when working with context menus to help ensure you give your users the best experience. First, if you're gonna use them, use them in lots of places. It can be frustrating to press and hold on something only to find nothing happens. Second, keep your list of options as short as you can, aim for three or less. And third, don't repeat options the user can already see elsewhere in your UI. Remember, context menus are by their nature hidden, so please think twice before hiding important actions in a context menu.